Welcome to my channel, Danielle's Perfect Home. Welcome. If you are new on this channel, I discuss everything homeschool, homemaking. Hi, mommy friends. For those who are already subscribed, welcome back to my channel. Today, mommy friends, I have a homeschooling video for you, mommy friends. As you can tell here, I have a um, video on first grade math with confidence. And I want to tell you all you need to know for math with confidence, first grade, the ins and outs, the what and the what and who's and where and why and all the things you would need for this um, curriculum oh. let's hop right in and get started so this is first grade math for confidence as I previously mentioned this is a whole term a whole school year curriculum this is actually the workbook here here is the student guide so this is a video of what you should know what you need to know type of video and I'm showing you tips and tricks and things that are working for me so I'm not doing this with one child I'm actually doing this with my twin daughters who are in first grade and I'm showing you how I keep up with all the things and what we use and need when you're kind of teaching this to multiples and yeah so let's hop right into it so as mentioned I'm going to get these things out the way um, this is the instructor guide it literally says instructor guide here so this instructor guide there is plenty of videos and flip throughs of and videos explaining it explaining um, math for confidence so here you have your table of contents this um, curriculum is broke down into units so we have 11 units as you can see here it has 11 units and it tells you what is in each unit it tells you what is in each unit you have a review and all the subjects for each unit okay so currently we are in I believe we're in unit 3 yes we just gotten into unit 3 oh actually unit 4 we're in unit 4 so just started unit 4 and we are on week 12 so it's also split up in weeks so it splits up in units and into weeks so as you can tell, I mean, see that in the here. See, like it has unit seven. Oops, let me zoom in. It has unit seven and then it has week 18, 19, so far like that. It is broken up into weeks. So of where we're going to the lesson that we were just um, doing. So I can explain to you, my friends. So we are on week 12, unit four, I believe. So this is the lesson. They're doing place values with numbers to to 20 and this 12.1 means that it is week 12 day one and if you keep going you will see week 12 day two week 12 day three and what they're working on week 12 day four what and the title they're, they're the subject they're working on week 12 day five and day five is optional as you can see every day five is optional and it's just an optional um, day of lessons now here is the workbook pages that coordinates to week 12 and I'm actually going to go to week 13 I'll show you week 13 because I actually ripped out my daughter's week 12 pages already and I will show you that in a little bit so this is week um, Week 13, day one through four worksheet pages with the answers and then in their workbooks here. Here is the corresponding worksheet. So this is, and they have it here. Week 13, day one. And then front and back. And I love these pages because they are so colorful. Week 13, day two, front and back. Week 13, day um, three, oops, front and back. 13 day 4 and then there's no um, day um, 5 page because that's the optional lesson now in our homeschooling we don't do the optional lessons that comes um, with this program because I find that doing school uh, math from Monday to Thursday is enough for us honestly so it does have optional lessons and enrichment activities that you can do that are kind of like hands-on and they have um, book ideas. Now that we got that out the way, this curriculum comes with literally everything you need. So you have to make sure that you get the instructor guide here and not just the student workbooks. Okay, I mean you can just get the student workbooks and go through them as just do them as worksheets 
but you're not going to know what's going on and also in the work in the workbooks they provide ga um, colorful game boards but if you don't care about nothing about that color or whatnot you could just get the instructor um, guide and everything is in the back like stuff like this okay so let's go over that so in the back you have the completed memory work list so each this tells you each week what your child will be memorizing so um, week two they were memorizing um, raise your left hand raise your right hand left and right week four how much is a penny worth a nickel and let's see if I can bring you closer in um, what is the days of the week in order for week six um, a square and rectangle week eight week ten the name of the month um, how many months are in a year week 10 12 say the 10 the same more chant so that's kind of like where we are and it also comes with a recommended book list so here's the book list for and it typically do book books on day five so we haven't really done any other book list and here are the material list that you're going to need for this curriculum and I will let you know what you're going to need for this curriculum being that we are a little bit in it already but here is a little snap of what you're going to need and here's other supplies that you're going to need as well if you are probably going to do the enrichment um, activities you're going to need these supplies is that says other supplies down here and over here as well okay now we have the game boards and extra games so this curriculum does come with game boards and a game list and this is a pretty much a hands-on curriculum which my daughters absolutely love and it gives you like I said mentioned in the beginning the game boards here so here is the tic-tac-toe board um, here is the subtraction climb to the top, addition nines bingo, adding eight crash, addition tic tac toe, subtraction roll and cover, uh, subtraction bingo, connect boxes, and now we're going into like um, helpful resources. So at the beginning of each, at the beginning of each lesson it's going to tell you what you need for that lesson so this is lesson two week two and it tells you that you are going to need pick the camera up sorry for moving it so for the warm-up you're going to need counters the double 10 frame and it tells you that is black line master one which is in the teacher's guide and then for the activities you're going to recognize up to 10 tallies draw tallies corns number cards index cards are the materials that you're going to need for this activity and it tells you their workbook you're going to recognize up to 10 tallies and it tells you the workbook pages that you are going to do for that lesson now how to get to the resource page i mean the double black 10 frame master one is at the back of the book here is what the double 10 frame looks like in the workbook it looks just like this um so you could just print it from out this book and I'm going to show you mommy friends minds I have mine this is my daughter's um, morning binder so when we do our math work they have their morning binders so I want to show you how I print out um, how I copy everything and just put it in their math binders so some stuff does not come in their math binders if you would like a video on their math binders, I mean, what's in their morning binders, I will link that above. Here is their double 10 frame. So I just laminated, a hole punched it, and put it in their binder. And this is great because they use these for um, manipulatives for the boards or whatnot. So making sure that you laminate these would be great because you're using these more than one time, this board more than one time. Also so far what we have used, um, and this is an example of the game in color. So this is the addition climb to the top. As you seen,
see here is the color version of it that was in our workbook and then here is the black and white version of it that is in the parents guide so that is helpful so i store their double tin frame they also use the part total mats with flashcards i store their literally flashcards in the bottom of here here is another one that they would need are their shape these are called shape cards that they will be using that i just store them in the back of their binder here They have the 150 chart. I also copied that. For here we go over these, this, and we have been going over the 100 chart. And we go over this, they count by twos, they count by fives, they count by tens, and sometimes we don't even start at one. Sometimes they want you to count from 20 all the way to 60, or from 40 all the way to 80. Um, and that is everything so far that I have printed out for their morning binders when it comes to this lovely math curriculum. And I just love this math curriculum. I think it is super hands-on, it is helpful, and it is just open to go. That's what I really love about it. So now I'm going to show you how I plan their math for the week. It's super simple. Oops, excuse this. So all their worksheets for the entire week I put in my planner folder. Um, video link above if you are interested in that so here is the worksheets that they will need I will have their names and I will literally rip them out the book for the entire week so I would just grab them rip them out the book these worksheets are so um, colorful and so beautiful here would be like an activity where they have to color and everything so they will need crayons for this curriculum as well crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever your child prefers. So that is literally how I store this math curriculum. So all you would need would be this and some of the materials that they um, call for. Here are some of the, this is like the fun part, all the hands-on aspects of this curriculum that you are going to need. As I mentioned, you are going to need some um, blocks, some, I don't know what these are called, counters, some manipulatives, like this. I also have some jacks. My children love using these jacks for counters. You're going to need some play money or some real, I would recommend doing um, some real coins and then probably some fake dollar bills or you can do both. I like to use real and fake money for my children. Cards, I picked up the wrong deck of cards. You're not gonna use these cards. You're gonna need two decks of actual playing cards you're also going to need a mini clock this is the one I have and I probably need to get another one because I have two daughters and I want both of them to have their own clock you're also going to need some of these colorful oops the bag is open you're going to need some of these colorful counters here and these they use for math so they want you to start off I will show you one they will want you to cover up some of the numbers on the 100 chart and then have your child to move the counters away as you count. And you are also going to need some pattern blocks. Shapes, they talk about shapes and whatnot and making patterns and you're definitely going to need some shapes, some shape um, blocks with this curriculum for patterns and just to know the shapes and what family and angles that shapes have. Put that back. So, already, mommy friends, this was literally a quick short video of what you would need for first grade math. And it's not very step-by-step um, -step detail, but it is one of those videos that shows you what you will actually need for this curriculum and if you decide to do it. It is a great curriculum, like I mentioned. It is very hands-on and we love it in our homeschooling. So this will be a curriculum that we will probably continue to do next year as well because it's hands-on, open to go, and easy for us. Um, one thing that I can say about this curriculum is that if you have um, more than one child and in different grade levels, it is kind of consuming. So that would just be the only con, but that would be like a time management issue for the the teacher 
or the parent. So, alrighty, mommy friends, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Bye.